Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris from My Handyman, and I want to teach you all the chores and projects around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Today what we're going to do is we're going to cut a piece of drywall. You might have to cut a piece of drywall to patch a hole. You might need uh, your, maybe you want to start a remodeling project and you need to know how to actually cut the drywall. So here's, here's what we're going to do. I've got a small piece right here. We're going to do some measuring. We're going we're gonna to draw the line where we want to cut. I'm going to show you how to cut it and how to snap the board. All right, so here we go. What we want is we want a piece we're going to cut from here to here. And that is six, 16 inches, okay? So let's mark it 16 inches here. And let's mark it 16 inches here. Okay, there's our top to bottom. Now, I'm not going to draw my line freehand. I'm going to need a straight edge. I'm going to use my level for a straight edge. So, I'm going to put this up here. I'm going to line up the marks. Like that. My mark is lined up at the bottom. It's lined up at the top. I'm going to draw my line. Just like that. Now I'm going to draw a little extra thick so you can see it. It typically doesn't need to be this thick, but I need you to see it. Okay. There it is. Let me pull this forward a little bit so you can see that line. There you go. There's the line. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to use our razor knife to cut this. So in our bag, which we looked at before, you have your razor knife. Some of them have the ones that you can flip out that have multiple blades on them that you can snap right off. This one is a little bit more heavy duty. It comes out like that. All right. So what you want to do is you want to start at the top, penetrate the paper. Okay. Just dig it in just a little bit. So I'm going to pull it down just a hair and then I'm going to show you right here. You're only going to put it in to about you're only going to put it in to about there, just a little bit from here, okay? Maybe an eighth, a sixteenth of an inch, maybe. All you're really trying to do is break the paper and go into the drywall itself just a little bit. So when you're actually cutting, you don't want to look at the blade while you're cutting. You want to follow the line because your hand will go where the line goes. All right, so let's move this over here so you can get a better idea. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the top just like that, right on the line. Okay. Now I'm looking right here because I know that my hand is going to be straight. So I'm going to go down. I'm pushing and I'm going to draw a straight line because I'm looking at the line just before the blade. I'm not looking at the blade. And I go all the way down to the bottom. Okay? Now, we got a good scoring in. Let me show you the blade one more time. You can see where that drywall dust is on the blade itself right at the tip. I did put it into the into the drywall very far. You can see it's only about maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Again, I just broke the paper and went into the drywall a little bit. You want, all you're trying to do is score it. Now, this is why. I'm going to, I'm going to pull this camera away just a little bit so you can see what I'm going to do next. Okay. I know I'm, there we go. Now, I'm going to take this Okay, and I can break it now. Watch, I'm just going to go like this. 
And see where it bent? It bent right where we cut. It bent it right where we cut. So what we want to do now is where we cut it in the back. You can see that. You can see the fold. Again, take your knife and gently go along the inside in that crease. And then the two pieces come apart. And you have a nice clean cut. Nice clean cut. Now, if it's kind of ragged, if you feel, oh boy, it's, I, I could have done a better job. Now, I've been doing this a while, that's why it's a clean cut. But let's say, for instance, this is your first or second time, you scored the paper right, but there's more drywall on the inside that's sticking out. That's what this is for. Now, every time you start a project, you, you may have to go and buy a, a new tool. This is called a rasp. And this well, you want to take this along the side of the cut part that you just did and just glide it right along. And it will make this whole edge nice and flat. Just go back and forth. The drywall comes off real nice and it collects on the inside of this so it's not that messy. So it works out pretty well. So just to give you an idea, here on this piece, there's a little bit of stuff that's a little bit overboard here, especially at that end. There you go, look at that. That shouldn't look like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this rasp and just see how it's taking it off. Look at that, look at the, look at the dust that's coming off of there. See that? And a lot of it is still inside the rasp. So I'm just taking that down just nice and easy. Look at that. It comes off real nice and it's flat. That's what we want. This little rasp is going to cost you about $5. I've had this rasp for 20 years. I have not changed the blade on this because I only use it on this. I don't use it on anything else. This thing, doing, doing it with this rasp on the drywall, it doesn't really dull the blade at all at all. So it's, it's going to be fine. Five bucks, put it in your bag. So we learned how to cut a piece of drywall. That's pretty good. Okay, now we learned how to cut a piece of drywall straight. What if the area that we want to cut it has got to be slightly curved or contoured to something else? What do you do then? Ah, that's a good question. So let's say, for instance, let's take our pencil the one from the bag and let's draw let's draw a little line let's let's say for instance we need to cut that out all right so i'm going to make this dark so you can see it there you go can you see that now yeah, so we're going to cut that out with the same knife, no other special tools, only this time we're not using a straight edge. We have to kind of freeform this. So watch this. I'm going to come like this. Same thing. I'm going to go right to the edge. I'm going to indent it a little bit. I'm just going to go about a sixteenth of an inch in. Cutting on a curve. Same thing, okay? Now, is it gonna snap right? Eh, it might not. So let's try it. Oh, look at that. All I did was, is I, I took, put, put my hand here, I shoved my thumb forward, and look how it broke. Look at that. And now, I'm gonna, Cut the back, just like we did before, and that comes off, and we have a curve. Now, 
we also have a little bit of residual here. Let's try and fix that up. Now, some of that is the paper in the back because that's how it cut. Okay, this is what we're trying to get rid of is this thing. So let's go like this and we're just going to slice that off just like that. That's it. Now, what else can we do? Well, we can try and hit it with the rasp, but let's see what we can do. All right. think I think we got us a curve yeah there we go we did pretty good you get in the idea it's not rocket science it's not rocket science now when you put these things together and you put your drywall tape on it and your mud and all of that, it's going to hide all the, any kind of imperfections you think, oh my gosh, it's not cut perfect. It's going to be okay. So we cut a straight line and we cut a curve. We did pretty good. All right. So cutting drywall isn't hard. Nobody really likes doing it. it. It is an art, and you have to be very, very good at it. Some guys are lightning fast at it. Me, I'm not lightning fast, but I like working with the stuff. So I take my time. I try to get it done right. And then when I mud everything and get everything finalized, it looks really, really good after that. So, so far, so good. And I know that you can do this, just like I always say. Just don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. If they can do it, you can do it. Just have them show you how. And then practice. That's the key. Just keep practicing. Please subscribe to the channel. Please, please, please. And thank you very much. And I'll see you on the next video.